All right, let's construct a parallelogram W X Y Z. W X equals ten centimeters. W Z equals six centimeters. And the angle X W Z equals sixty degrees. We can start off with the longest, the longest line as requested, which is 10 centimeters. All right, we're just gonna assume this ruler here is 10 centimeters. I mean, is in, is in centimeters. Should be good enough. We can move that. Now we bring in the compass. We can make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. We lock it in. Move it up some. All right, right there. That right there too. Oh, hold on. Cut right there. Now we make sure I keep the same length. We had a cross right there. We use the same compass again. And we had crosses here. Once you draw a line from here to here, that will give you a 60. Alright, so well, let's label some of these. So we said WX, W, X is 10 centimeters, all right, so it's 10 centimeters, 10, C, C, M, all right. And then this is going to be WZ, this is going to be 6 centimeters, all right, leave that right there. Bring that up. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so I can turn it, put it at three. This is probably the hardest part right here. So I should do right there. So we had three. We had three inches. So you want to make this six centimeters. So that's three. Sorry, three. You can make it to nine. All right. Uh, this is right here. Take it all the way to nine. That should, that should be six centimeters there. All right. And we will label this as WZ. All right, take this away. This is 60, 60 degrees right there. All right. So this is a parallelogram. So it's pretty much a slanted rectangle. All right, so we did the um, Z, W, X, 60 degrees, and now we want to find a point A that lies on Z, Y. So this is this is going to be Z, Y. But I got to find the angle for this one. So I got to do the same thing I did here, with 60 degrees, and I got to find that here. So to do that, um, let's do this here. Bring it down. Back up. Pull it up. Just can I just can use this just to get another sixty degree line. 
honestly that's all I want to do it for so let's go to our process on creating a 60 degree line so at the end here we can do this we can draw our one right there all right now I just need to see where this line is up take this right here it's gonna line up right here because it's gonna be a straight line bring this over some oh, back. move it over right now I'm gonna draw it and where this cross is gonna be 60 degrees all right right there that's my 60 oh. that's my 60 degree angle right there so I turn that because it's a parallelogram now remember all these all of these lines this line here up and down ZW should be equal to X Y this is going to be X Y this line coming up and down and W X right here this line down here is going to be parallel to Z Y and the definition of, of, of lines being parallel is they're going to be equal distance from each other so W X is equal distance from Z Y and we could move this into eternity and they will continue to be equal distance and they will never cross all right so I know I had to make this the same angle as this 60 if I wanted a parallel line creating a parallelogram so let's bring this down a little let's put every five inches or so all right so we are at, let's bring it to five. And this is going to be the same length as WZ. WZ is six centimeters. I should write that here. Six centimeters. All right. Let's do a line here. Five to 11. That will give you six centimeters there. All right, and you can just take a line from here now. All right, and that line goes straight here, and that's another 10 centimeter line up here. All right, so I can move this ruler. This is Y. This is Y. All right, now it also wanted you to find the point that lies on ZY and is equal distance from lines. WZ and WX. So to find a point that's equal distance, that means we have to cut this in half, this angle right here in half, meaning we have to bisect it, right? So to bisect it, let's go again. So to bisect the angle, all right, let's make this a little smaller. I don't want to be too big. Close this up a little bit. So we can start here. We're gonna draw again. Alright, so lock it in. Oh, sorry. Come up some. Just draw right there. We're gonna cross across right there. Alright. So I can move this down some and I can draw it draw the next line there. Alright, we're gonna cross. Alright, you wanna keep you want to make sure that you don't change the distance of this compass right now. All right. So we can move this up. Start drawing. All right. Boom. That's good enough. Let me move this here. The same spot. Do not change the distance. And you can draw here. All right. So where they cross is where you. Oops. So I got the. Where they cross right here is where you're going to bisect the bisect ZW the angle of ZWX right this angle right here 60 degree so I can get a line you could use a ruler for this I'm gonna come to right here bisect that CMX where they cross all right and just line up line up line that up to make sure it goes through the one right there all right and this is point A where this cross is Z, Y, right? That's point A, and then they want you to just find the distance. And find the distance is easy, so that's something. You just use a ruler for that, and you'll find the distance.